back to the show. Always a pleasure having our next guest because not only do we get to play, we get to tell you how your kids will learn by playing. We are joined by Marcia McCrory from The Noise on Toys. Welcome back. Hi Great there. to have how you here. You this is a fun time of year for you it because is. you get Everything to find some things. Yeah, and I think parents, they love finding out about these types yeah. of products because it's frustrating out there. A lot of screen time for kids. Let's dive right in. What do you want to start with here today? You want to hear my favorite? Yes. Yes, yes I do. Compose yourself. Okay. It's, a think, it's a think fun game, and it's so there's you can you can go on the website and it, it's it's available for free. But what this buys you is these cards, and there's quite a few of them. And each one of them is musical notes. Okay. Oh my kids no, love that right away. There's no little flags on them, so you can orient it any number of ways. In fact, four. And there's a note at th or sorry, there's a number at the top. Okay. And what you do is you basically lay them out in uh, patterns of four across. Okay. In something that looks sort of visually pleasing. I did it where I just randomly put four out. Okay. Right. Then you go and you input these numbers. So the child just has to be old enough to be able to input a sequence input of four them numbers. Input them in? In the, on the website. Okay. On the website. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. okay. All right. Then you press play. And you have full orchestration. So you're, you're creating your own music. You are. Wow. And you don't know, you know a thing about music. <laughs> the four of them I still have on my computer. And it's one of those tunes that's hit in my head and I'm humming it around the house. But you can go and you You've change them around. You've got an earworm that you created. I know. Is it only four? You can only put four. No, you can put. Um, you do it in seg um, segments of four, right. and there's four okay. lines total. So you can do a total of sixteen you know bars. If your kids play music, like mine do, you could probably change the game and get your kids on either on the piano. My son plays a trombone, and they could maybe figure out their own. Oh yeah. You know, throw them together. Well, and what you play do? It, it, this prints off sheet music. No. Really? And you have three options to hear it. You can have the orchestration, or you can have just the marimba playing the notes, or you can have them together. So if you have the orchestration, your child can play the melody line okay. with the orchestration. Here, here I was starting with screen time. But I, okay. Well, it's yeah. a now I, this screen time is okay. Yeah. This is I, and I, I, you can also you can make an MP3 tune file, MP3 file, yeah. and you can email it. What's the it. age range for that one they say? Give I think it's six plus, I believe. Oh, but beautiful. Basically old enough to be able to input the four digits, yeah. and then oh, anybody okay. could That's play easy. with it. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Uh, look, I love this maze here. Yeah. yeah. What's that this? all about? Now, this comes with two trays, two magnetic trays, and um, white, or sorry, blue and yellow pieces, and you create a maze. The, the, the base, it's the maze racers, and the basic idea is you each are creating your own maze, and when okay. one person's done, the other person has a minute to finish, you swap, and then you have to solve the other person's maze. Oh, that's a fun oh, idea. Fun. But the thing is, it's also great for solo play or just quiet time. And yeah. so when you sort of jiggle it around, get the ball across? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh and you have this cool little tool it. that you can go through to make sure that it will get the ball, I guess the same width yeah. as the ball, so it'll get through. Okay, kids would love, my kids would love that because they try to stump each other. Oh, exactly. Yeah, well, that's yeah. it. So you can, you can play it competitively like that, or you can just play, you can even just have a parent prepare it and have the child solve it. And it's yeah. such, such a flexible toy. So it's incredible. Much fun. Uh, the Dairy Farmers of Canada are actually protesting on Parliament Hill today, so and let's talk go. about <laughs> what this What's all that? Well, that's, a, that's a science slash art kit, okay? And we don't have it up for demo, but it uses milk as the basis. So you have surface tension ones where, you, you know, the, the experiment where you can put the milk down, you, you put little pieces of food coloring and then add soap to it. Oh, and yeah, I love and that. And then it comes with paper so you can lay the paper down and make a marbleized piece of artwork. Nice. Um, they work nice. with the protein in the milk, um, the protein and make casein, so they use that to make glue, they use that to make um, like a sort of almost a plastic, it dries like a plastic modeling compound. So all sorts of experiments, all with milk at the basis. And so it's cool. safe. I like that. So they're yeah, totally, totally safe. Yeah. Totally safe. So it's all food products. Yeah, exactly. What do you want to learn about? Perfect. What's next? Oh, this what is, is that? actually this. I like this thing. This is kind of cute. Looks yeah. like it's your basic science kits. It's it's um, oh, the Nancy Bean yeah. Science Club. But what's great about it is it's just inspiring to have all that equipment to do it with. Yeah, yes. I agree. Yeah. I would have liked yeah. to have had this this just to make like I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you look so smart when you I'll play. I'll get you one for Christmas awesome. so you can feel smart. How do you like that? I'd want to wear these. Can I wear these? This is what yeah, I want. Oh, totally, I totally. I want to wear these because, yeah. you know, you have to be safe. Oh, oh they're made for small kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, look good on you. Yeah, All right. nice. So what are these beautiful things? This is things? Tigley. And again, it's Tigley. A screen time again, but it's with um, hands-on things. So there's three different sets there. That's the number set, only it's units, right? They oh don't yes, actually use numbers. Right. And th these dots here are sensitive to touch screens. So, so it works with here? most oh major okay. touch screen um, tablets. Oh, I see. And so when you put it down there, you're playing the games, but you're actually physically handling the, the letters and oh you're physically handling oh the nice. numbers. And it's got a really a nice sort of soundtrack, very calming soundtrack and beautiful visuals. So it's just a very calming educational sort of exp um, games experience. Very nice. That's really nice. We got some card games over here. Those that one's favorite. Here. Yep, that's by Blue Orange and it's um, the Super Genius. And it's the same sort of algorithm as their Spotted game. So in other words, each card will match to exactly one item on the other card. Oh, so I it, see. Which are very okay. po it's a very popular game. And now you're just doing it with numbers. They've got letter sets. Um, 
It's just, a, it's just a fun like game. Like this? Is that the letter set you're talking that's about? Nope, that's the letter set is just the same cards but with letters on oh, it. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Five different okay. sets. That's the Speedy one. Word. And what's nice about that is that um, I think I have that pile upside down, but I have a Hang card on, I here. I can turn it over. Yeah. Yeah, and each it. one has a symbol on one side and the letters on the other. Oh so the yeah, idea is that, that as you flip it, you come up with your new symbol, and whatever color that symbol is, you have to match it to that letter and come up with a word in that category starting with that letter. Okay, so excuse me, uh, this is a flower, and the letter is M. Wait a no, minute. No, 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 you flip it over. Right. Uh, well, if you flip it to the next, to the discard, no, over on, the, on there. Then you have your flower, and then you have three letters. Oh, I see. Oh. Now so now you have to find a flower that starts with X, or a plant. I don't think it's just flowers. Okay, okay let's find uh, it. Yeah, we'll be here until tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time for that. Heck, I'd have trouble with O. <laughs> this is another one. This Kiva Builders, um, this is a building company that uses just plain, ordinary Oh, I like blanks. that. But this set that they've come up with is quite cool because they've come up with building challenges. And you start, oh, okay. and what's nice about this is it's the same, the cards, it's the same three view model that's used in engineering plans. <gasps> but from a kid's point of view, it, it's oh, a, you're familiar, it's got a very practical application. Yeah. It's also like just a great deductive uh, deduction puzzle because as you're building it, where whichever blocks you're placing have to be logically consistent with each of the views. So it helps very you build cool. it. As you're building it, you're also trying to guess what it is. Oh, really? Because okay. well you don't know what yeah, it is because there's no answer here what you're building, right? And as you're building, you know, you start putting it together, you think, and then when you're finished, you flip it over, and this one happens to be a the bench. solution is a bench. Oh, what a great wow. idea. Yeah. So it's a fabulous little kit, so fabulous kit. Um, another one is this Codemaster, another favorite. This one is excellent because it's, uh, you know, you're talking about screen time. Yeah. What's excellent is this is completely paper as a puzzle, like okay. it's books and so on. But it's teaching the basic fundamentals of programming. So if you've got a child who's interested in making a video game, this is the core concepts, and I could list them off because I've got sort of computer kids that tell me, whoa, whoa, this is what this is. You know? <laughs> but it basically, it's giving you the logic to think like a computer so that when you're older and you're learning computer programming, you have a lot of the... You the and I could use this. I, uh, uh, yeah. I am I oh, you're planning too. to, to oh, program a computer oh, listen, game? No, I'm just saying, yeah. so I understand some of it. Like my yeah, stepson, yeah, Max, is yeah. like I a know, genius. But this is too. more about the programming than the use. Actually, yeah, I'm right. going to use yeah. it. I can use, I can use I'm it. I'm a good user. The, the yeah, use, I mean, I can play, I, although I never get the thing in the right way. <laughs> Right? You always get the your USB. USB. It's yeah. all, it always goes in wrong the first try. Anyway. Oh boy, okay. we got a lot of different problems. Yeah. Let's go get this one. This is quickly light up, and you it's circuitry, but Kay. it's all enclosed here, so it's very safe. And all you're doing is putting these together. So it's a part. You put oh, so you put it in your nothing's happening. So you put it together. Your circuit's correct. <gasps> and it's a sig signal light. Okay. Uh, always looking Gorgeous. for volunteer toy testers. Always, I yeah. Imagine. So yeah. you can yeah. visit the Noise on Toys website where you can become a toy tester, Ooh. and then. Every month or two, you can you can rotate and get new toys, bring them back, okay. and have some fun with the entire family. Don't go away. We're talking financing. If oh. you're if you're an, a young company out yes. there looking for finance, it could be so difficult. Our next guest will tell you some great tips and advice right after this.